What is Next.js? If we go to the Next.js website, we can see that Next.js declared itself as the React framework for production. Next gives you the best developer experience with all the features you need for production, hybrid static and server-side rendering, TypeScript support, smart building, root prefetching, and more, and no config needed. React is a JavaScript library that helps us to build complex user interfaces a lot easier than it would be with just JavaScript. And Next.js is a framework on top of React. So the difference between a library and a framework is that a framework is bigger than a library. It has more features and multiple built-in libraries. So Next.js extends React capabilities by giving us an SDK, Software Development Kit. These are a set of documentation, processes, rules, and guidance that tell developers how to structure the repo and write the code. And also, all of these tools and libraries are out of the box, so we don't need to spend time implementing or using other third-party libraries to solve common problems. But it is still a React framework, so we still build React components, and the underlying React principles remain the same. Server-side rendering. What is server-side rendering in Next.js? One of the most important benefits of using Next.js is the built-in server-side rendering. If you have experience working with React, you probably know that React renders the page in the client. With React 18, they have introduced a bunch of new functionality to allow us to render pages on the server side. But React is still mainly known for client side. If you want to learn what's new in React 18, check this video. Okay, what is the difference between rendering the page in the server or the client? Client side rendering, CSR. Let me go to a React website. This page is getting rendered on the client. What happened here is the client will download the code from the server. Then the JavaScript code will be executed by the browser and all the HTML content will be rendered. To understand what code is rendered in the client or the server, you can go to any website, right click anywhere on the page and then click on view page rules. Here we can see that the content of our page doesn't show here. If we try to look for this specific text and we search here, we can see that we cannot find it. We only have the basic HTML structure. This is because all of this content is being rendered in the browser of the user on the client, not on the server. So let's say one more time, all the HTML code is sent from the server to the client the moment the user visits the page. So we visit this page, we, the client, request the server to see this page. This page which we are requesting doesn't contain the data yet. The server sends to the client in a bundle all the JavaScript and the HTML code, and then the browser executes this, and it's at that point when we see it. This is what happens when we run the pages in the client. Server-side rendering, SSR. Now, if we go to the Next.js site and we open the source code, right-click, view source code, we can see we have here all the content. Now, if we search for this specific text, um, I can see it here. So in this case, all the content, all the code has been pre-rendered on the server. SSR is all about preparing the content of a page on the server instead of on the client. So when we visit a page, the client already has the content. Okay, so server-side rendering allows us to fetch the data and pre-render the components on the server, okay? So when a request hits the server, the page and content will be ready for us to consume and for the search engines to crawl. That's why this is good for SEO. When shall we use server-side rendering over client-side rendering then? There are a few reasons why we would choose SSR over CSR or CSR over SSR. It all depends on the user experience we want to create and on our requirements. SSR has lots of benefits thanks to this for rendering, like it can improve the performance and experience depending on the app you have, it caches the data and it's great for SEO. SEO stands for Search Engine Optimization. SEO is not important for all the pages. For example, if the user needs to log in to see a specific page, then this page doesn't need to be rendered on the server. 
certain genes will never see this page because the user needs to look in first. So in this case, CSR is better. If instead we have an event website and we want the search engines to find our content, we want to, to be picked up by the search engine scrolls, so we have more probabilities to reach a bigger audience so people can find us and buy tickets to our events, then SEO is really important for us. Okay, I hope you have a better idea of what NestYes is and why companies choose to use NestYes. So NestYes is a React framework ready for production because it comes with lots of configurations, so you don't need to do it, and it's fully extendable. React is already really popular, and some of the advantages that NestYes offers us is to render the pages on the server to improve SEO and cache. If you like this video, if I was able to teach you something at least one thing, please give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. Share your feedback with me, I really appreciate that, and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Thank you for watching. <laughs>